Here we are, Mike Trout, seven-time All-Star, two-time MVP, two-time All-Star game MVP. Man, this ain't nothing to you. No, uh, you know, obviously, you know, being here, uh, it's an honor, you know, voting in by the fans and just being with all the great athletes and, uh, you know, MLB players over, over the league and just competing against the best. You know, I enjoy every minute of it. You know, now that my seventh one, I get to enjoy, you know, I know the experience a little bit more uh, so I can enjoy it and, um, you know, just have fun. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You're competing against the best, you know, you're on the biggest stage and it's uh, it, it's going to be a fun fun two days. Well, you're not competing, you're dominating, bro. You're hitting 462 <laughs> in the All-Star game. Hey, man, I, I, like I said, I go out there and just try to hit the ball hard. You know, uh, you're facing guys throwing 100, you know, and then they, Every got, then they, then they throw like a 93 mile hour slider and then... You just hope you don't miss that one pitch, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, on a serious note, man, hey, with the team this year, yeah. injuries have really kind of taken the forefront of y'all's season. Yeah. Uh, does it kind of get um, a little frustrating at times just because you want to get over that hump, but sometimes it's a little hard when you don't have your guys on the field? It, it is. You know, when you, you get banged up uh, and you don't have the guys you started with, with spring with that uh, you grinded with, you know, to get, get ready for the season, uh, you, you lose, you know, all, almost all your pitching staff, you know, it's, it, it's tough. Um, you know, when you lose Otani, you lose Garrett, you know, top two aces on the mound. Uh, right. It's tough, and it, it's just you want to you wanna do so good. Of course. Um, but, you know, other guys are getting opportunities, and, uh, you know, guys are stepping up. And, you know, it just, this break is much needed for the Angels. You know, we, we got we to gotta come out, you know, ready to play against the Astros on Friday. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. The greatest player in our game, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mike Trout. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the one, the only Joey Votto, 2010 NL MVP, six-time All-Star, man. What makes this All-Star game in D.C. different than any other ones? Well, they're all special. So I, I, if we could play this game in Timbuktu, and I'd be excited. <laughs> yeah, I'd be jetting to wherever they want us to play. But D.C., first of all, it's the National League, so we get to wear home colors. We get to represent the National League. Second of all, it's such a beautiful place to play. It's such a wonderful stadium, and the fans are going to be crazy. So I'm really excited about it. Well, I mean, I feel like you're like the Yoda of the NL roster this year. No, y Yachty is actually the Yoda. Oh, is he the Yoda? <laughs> well, I mean, why first name and yeah, but nine like, L-stars. You, know, you could be one of the oldest guys on the roster, man. That's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it just goes to show you the influx in young guys we have in the game now. It's, it's, and there's so much talent. Every year it feels like the game gets better, the players get better, they get more athletic. I mean, I'm looking across the room and I'm seeing guys that can do just about everything. And, man, it's old guys like us. <laughs> we couldn't do very much, and here we are hanging. Well, here I am hanging around still. <laughs> Hey, tell me about it, man. Riggleman's, uh, Riggleman's took over, man. It just seems like you guys have really kind of bought into what he's bringing, man. You guys are one of the toughest teams to face right now. If I was on any other team, I wouldn't want to be facing the Cincinnati Reds right now. I hope that keeps going. I hope that keeps going. And I think that uh, we need to build this year into next year into a long stretch of time a good ball. And the city of Cincinnati deserves it. I, I'm, I'm really geeked about it. And, and uh, the young, most importantly, young players are getting better. And uh, they're really carrying the team. So it, hopefully good things. Right, man. Well, congratulations. Another all-star game to under your belt, my man. Enjoy Appreciate the time for Thank sure. You. Thank you very much. We got Charlie Blackman, bro. This is your third all-star appearance, man. Just tell me about it. How awesome is coming to an all-star game? It is the most fun. They have all the good food. Uh, they do, it's, it's run really well, but I'm super busy the whole time um, doing interviews and whatnot. Of course. Uh, there's a baseball game mixed in, <laughs> uh, but it's a really great time. I'm telling you, man, since 2016, you have the third most home runs in the big leagues, man. Do you consider yourself a power hitter? I did not know that. That's a great stat. Um, I hope they put that on the on the screen during the game. Um, I, you know, I like to hit the ball hard, but I, I, you know, I don't consider myself a power guy. Okay. Well, I got some serious questions here. Okay, the Colorado Rockies, you guys are two and a half games back. Come the second half, man, you guys have what it takes. What sorts of adjustments do you guys need to make moving forward? Uh, towards the end of the first half, we really put it together in the sense that we uh, pitched and hit and played defense all at the same time. And, and I felt like there's a little bit of disconnect for most of the first half. You know, we didn't have it right. quite together. And, um, and if we can put all that together, I, I think we're going to be really competitive and, and, and make things interesting. Well, and last question I got for you, bro. This beard is so <laughs> luscious, bro. How do you get it so soft like that? Uh, coconut oil, you know, like. <laughs> A lot of natural products. Um, it's uh, it's 
it's kind of a thing. It's like it's like a pillow for my chin. It's, <laughs> I kind of enjoy it. So uh, it's nice and soft is, is my goal. You got it. Well, Chuck Nasty, bro. Congratulations, brother. Thank enjoy you. the day. Absolutely, brother. You take care. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the one, the only, Brandon Crawford, bro. First all-star start for you, man. Just tell me a little bit about it. I'm excited. I mean, uh, got a lot of fan support this year, um, and I appreciate that, and I'm, I'm excited to be out here. I mean, the first one uh, was a lot of fun backing up, but, but the start should be a little bit different. So our own Frank Thomas, bro, absolutely loves you and the San Francisco Giants, man. Come the second half, what sorts of things do you guys need to do to make that push? Uh, I think we need, to, we need to come out hot because uh, we're, we're a little bit above 500 right now. Uh, we're pushing through some injuries, but, but we've been playing well. Um, you know, we had a couple tough losses at the, at the end of the break, but um, we need to come out hot. We we're playing some good teams right out of the break, too. So, um, you know, it, I think if we could get out of here, out of, out of the break hot, um, get some of these guys that are, that are on the DL back, um, we can make a push for sure. And I think just for you, defensively, bro, you have always been a top-notch defender, no doubt. But your offense is really, really sparked this year. I feel like you're hitting the ball in the opposite way with authority. Everything's going well, man. Have you changed anything in your stroke? Um, I changed a little bit with my hands at the at the beginning of the year. Had a rough April. Uh, made a little mechanical adjustment. And uh, really just my approach has been a little bit better probably this year, just staying, trying to stay in the middle of the field, seeing the ball a little deeper and getting those hits to the opposite field. Right, bro. Well, enjoy the day, man. NL starting shortstop, Brandon Crawford, bro. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. You got it, baby. Yes, sir. Take it easy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. One of my favorite teammates I've ever had, man. The infectious personality of the right. two-time Cy Young Award winner, Corey Kluber. Bro, congratulations, man. Another all-star game under your belt. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So the season so far, man, it kind of started off rough, but it just kind of seems like you guys really hit your stride, man. It seems like Tito really knows the buttons to be pushing. Yeah, I think that's why, you know, that's why he's the manager he is. But, yeah, you know, I think that um, regardless of whether things are going good or bad, I think, you know, we have the same team every day, and that's what allows us to kind of overcome those rough patches. Yeah, well, you know how it is, man, watching guys like Frankie Lindor, Jose Ramirez. These guys have really kind of come into their own, and you kind of being the veteran guy of the staff. To see guys like Trevor Bauer to get his first all-star appearance, man, that's got to mean the world to you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always fun to come come and experience with with your teammates. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate enough to do it with Frankie and Brant and Hosey a couple times now. But for guys like Trevor and Jan, you know, their their first time, it's it's really special to come, you know, for your first time. So I hope they have a blast. To see the resurrection of the Cleveland Indians and to see you leading the charge, two Cy Youngs under your belt, my man. I mean, you came up to the Cleveland Indians when there was nobody in the stands. Now all of a sudden, it seems like it's packed out every night. I mean, you guys are the, you guys are the talk of the town now that LeBron left. Tell you what, it's a lot more fun playing from a packed house than an empty house, isn't it? Yeah, no doubt about that, man. Well, I wish you the best of luck, my man. Continued success, brother. I'm glad you're taking a little break, man, because we want to see you back on the mound. Appreciate it. All right, bro. Hey, Corey Kluber. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. So good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We got Christian Yelich, outfielder with the Milwaukee Brewers. Bro, congratulations, man, the All-Star game. I appreciate it, dude. It's cool to be here. Yeah, man. Hey, I feel like you and Lo Kane kind of came over to the Brewers, really kind of gave them an identity, and, and the team really responded. Yeah, I mean, we're just coming in, just trying to fit in. They, they had a great year last year, and we're just trying to build and, and add to what they already had. They had a great core, a lot of good young players, and we're just trying to add to that, and, um, you know, hopefully we carry that in the second half. Uh, you know, I, I got the chance to talk to Jeremy earlier. Uh, Josh walked right here. Yeah. It just seems like the Milwaukee Brewers have the most fun yeah. out of any team in baseball, man. Yeah. Aggie, we believe in Jesus. Yeah. It just kind of seems like you guys come to the ballpark with a smile each and every day. Yeah, we got a lot of great dudes, man. Just a lot of different personalities that all kind of mesh, and it's just fun to show up to the yard every day. And uh, excited to watch Aggie here in a couple hours and put on a fun on a show in the yes, home run derby. He looks like an offensive lineman sometimes, man. He's, <laughs> he's a big, strong boy. Yes, and, uh, sir. You know, we're out there, we're going to be pulling for him, and, uh, you know, I've really enjoyed the season so far. Second half, bro. Yeah. You and the Chicago Cubs. Yeah. It's going to come down to the wire, man. You guys have both great teams. What's it going to take to win that division? You know, I think it's just going to be execution, and the, all those games we play against those guys, are, they're so close. Um, they're decided by one run, one, two runs. Yeah. Um, you know, whoever executes makes the least amount of mistakes, usually comes out on top. But it's fun to be a part of, man, that rivalry. The fans care so much on both sides, and... Uh, you know, so many great players in that game. So, you know, that's what you live for as a ball player, and, you know, it should be a fun finish. Well, brother, keep doing what you're doing, man. Yeah, We're having man. a lot of fun watching you, baby. You, yes, sir, you it. got it, bro. <laughs>
Here we are, man. Come on, Jake. <laughs> Jeremy Jeffress, I'm telling you, my man, I'm so happy. I'm so proud you're here, yes, man. Yes, You've dealt through so many, you know, obstacles mm -hmm. for you to finally be an all-star, yes. man. Having one of the best years of your career, man. What's that mean to you? It means a lot, man. Just especially to come do it here in my, you know, my hometown, Virginia. You know, it, it means so much, man. We've we've been, I've been doing it all since since I was young. So to have this moment and this time right here, it's so special to me, man. No, I'm telling you, man, you guys are having an unbelievable yes. run as a team. The back end of that bullpen with you, mm -hmm. Josh, Corey. I mean, just tell me the camaraderie that you guys have back there. It's great, man. All of our personalities are clicking. We're all working together. We're all picking each other up. And the biggest thing is us having fun and, and just doing what we can control. And once we do that, you know, everything else take care of itself. I'm baby. telling you, man, you guys, you guys have more swag. Yeah, you guys man. are having more. You guys picked up Orf for his first home run. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that stuff carries you I'm through the tough you. times in the season. I'm telling you. I mean, you've been there, man. You see how long this, this the season can be. You know, all the personalities, everybody's seeing each other every single day. Every day. day. So, yeah, man, but the, the fact that we can, we can compete with each other, you know, play around with each other, you know, everybody's personalities is just clicking and stuff like that. It's perfect, man. We're having a lot of fun. I'm telling you what, man. It's going to be you and the Cubs going <laughs> down. Wait, and baby, now, baby. Wait, baby. Go get him, I'm brother. You. you got it, man. Good to see you. Appreciate Congratulations, you. my man. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Thank you, Jay. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Goldschmidt, bro, you have been absolutely amazing this year. Started off a little slow, and you've just been mashing ever since. What, what happened? Uh, I'm not too sure, man. It started off a little slow. It was a huge compliment. I, I really uh, struggled there and um, luckily was able to get it turned around and um, was able to get hot there for really the, for the month of June, it's like probably the best month of my career, which is crazy. Yeah, you know, which is awesome. you can't force that. So it was just unbelievable. And, um, you know, now we're here and uh, just really taking it and enjoying it. Six all-star games, bro. I mean, does this get old? I mean, I, how crazy? Six of them already. It really doesn't. You know, you get on the bus and you show up to the ballpark and there's all the other all-stars there and you're like, wow, this is amazing. And, you know, having my kids here to get to take it all in and, you know, all the everything that's going on in the field, it's amazing. And, you know, never thought I'd make one, much less multiple or six. So uh, it's truly a blessing. Well, bro, it's been an absolute blast to watch you play. Let's talk about your team a little bit. Half a game back in the division. Second half, bro. What do the Diamondbacks need to do? Uh, I think we just need to go out there and play well and play consistent. We've kind of been up and down this first half. Probably our whole division has. Every team would feel like they haven't played their best, and you know we're all kind of tied in there a little tight. So we'll see what happens. Just go out there, play hard, and um, you know it's going to be a dogfight. It could de come down to the, the last week or so. Well, brother, if you keep mashing the way you are, man, I feel good about your chances getting to the postseason, man. Good luck, bro. Enjoy this All Star game, bro, because there's going to be many more for you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, baby. <laughs> good awesome. to see you, Goldie. Yeah, take care.